Hey, what is up guys? This is Rich here with Gaming Tech United, and today I want to talk a little bit about a possible Attack on Titan video game. So if you've been following Gaming Tech United, you'll know that I have picked up a PlayStation Vita. Like I've said in previous videos, even before I had the Vita, I was downloading titles just in case I bought one. Now one of those games is entitled Gravity Rush. It, this is a game where you literally control gravity and you move throughout the world whether it be falling or uh, f flying through the air and just it's a really beautiful amazing fluid motion and traversal system. Now if you don't watch Attack on Titan, they use these devices on their back that have, uh, they shoot air out of them and they kind of have these grappling hooks as well. I've noticed that the movement in Attack on Titan and Gravity Rush is literally almost one for one. Now, in Gravity Rush, the main character, Cat, she doesn't actually have anything that, you know, propels her forward or she shoots. It's literally just her, uh, her control of gravity. But, when I play Gravity Rush on the Vita, it feels like I'm in an episode of Attack on Titan. And that's what has made Attack on Titan so, uh, just so popular, is this just beautiful animation of almost a Spider-Man-esque movement. And it's just the combat and the way it works really just feels almost like Gravity Rush. So I think if developers were to look at Gravity Rush and then look at the Attack on Titan franchise, they could really make something special for the PlayStation Vita. And I believe that if it's done right, it could help move Vitas immensely. Now I know that there has already been a 3DS Attack on Titan game, and honestly, if I could get my hands on it, if they would just localize it, I would be all over that game. But just back to the topic of, if you play Gravity Rush, and you've seen Attack on Titan, you completely know what I mean. You know, and this wasn't something that I was expecting going into the game. I went into the game completely just not really knowing what to expect because I didn't want to watch anything and ruin any plot details, but I have heard from a lot of people that the, uh, the traversal is really awesome. So I jumped into the game and maybe half an hour, 45 minutes into it, it just hit me. It was like, holy shit, this movement it's just like I'm using the device that they use in Attack on Titan, and I really want to play an Attack on Titan video game. So, as much as people say, you know, that's, that'll be a hard type of movement to master, I think that people can look to games like The Amazing Spider-Man. They can look to games like Gravity Rush and kind of meld those two together in creating something that's really, really special. And I think that with the source material that's out there, whether it be the TV show or the manga or just whatever there is out there already, I think that there could be a really, really, really great video game in the works. And I'm not saying that there already is, but I'm just saying that if a competent studio, let's just say Tecmo Koei, uh, they make a lot of, you know, that niche Japanese games. And I think that if they took a look at Gravity Rush, they took a look at those other kind of titles like that, and they would have put their spin on it, we could get a really, really fun Attack on Titan video game. So thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Those two really, really help us out. Uh, be sure to hit the comments as well. Do you like Attack on Titan? Have you played Gravity Rush? Do you own a PS Vita? This can spark a lot of conversation, so I definitely want to hear it. Again, this is Rich with Gaming Tech United. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you in the next video.